Good morning and welcome to our topic. Today we are going to look at uh, approximation and errors. Uh, this is a topic that deals with uh, rounding off. It also deals with uh, truncation and it also deals with um, the operations, the four operations that is addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So we are going to look at the errors arising from this kind of operations. Here are the specific objectives. You should be able to perform various computations using a calculator. I know you're good at that. You should make reasonable approximation and estimations. Uh, you should also be able to express values in given significant figures. I know up there you're all okay. You should be able to define the absolute relative percentage rounding off and truncation errors and also determine the errors made from computation and also find the maximum and minimum errors from operations so we are going to look at uh, these objectives and see how we can achieve uh, each one of them let's start by looking at approximation this one involves rounding off and truncation uh, I know you know these things, they are just uh, things you have done. For example, round off 0 0.6 recurring to three significant figures. The answer would be 0 0.667. Uh, you are also told to truncate 0 0.6 recurring to three significant figures. So you get 0 0.666. Rounding off if if, this, if, if the last value is more than 5, then you go to the next number. But from, for truncation, you just get up to what is required. You forget the rest, no matter whether it will be more than 5 or less. Let's look at how you find the errors in, in rounding off and also in truncating. Uh, I'll just look at rounding off because for truncation, it will just follow a similar a similar method. So find the percentage error in rounding off 0 0.6 recurring to three significant figures. This is the solution. First of all, you express 0 0.6 recurring as a fraction. You did this in form one, so you should be able to do that. For example, R is equal to 0 0.666 recurring. You can use R, you can use X, you can use A, you can use any letter. You don't have to use R. Then 10R, meaning you multiply R by 10, will be 6.6666 recurring. Then uh, because the second part 666 uh, for 10R and also the second part for R.666 is the same, you subtract. So 10R minus R, you, you get 6. And so R will be equal to 2 over 3. That is the actual. It's actually the actual fraction. Uh, rounding off figure, if you round off 0 0.6 recurring to three significant figures, as per the question, you will get 0 0.667. So you convert that to a fraction, which will give you 667 over 1,000. So the absolute error for both rounding off and truncation is given by the actual figure or the actual fraction minus the rounded off fraction we normally use fractions because they are the exact ones don't use decimals so you get 2 over 3 minus 667 over 1000 in case the answer you get is a negative please ignore the negative because the word absolute here means you ignore any negative sign that is going to arise uh, so you can get that using your calculator then uh, relative error is uh, equal to absolute error divided by actual. You can divide, see what you'll get. And percentage error is equal to relative error times 100. When you're doing this part using a calculator, unless you have been told to get your answer to some significant figures or decimal places, just write the figure that appears in your calculator. Just copy it. It is not a big deal. Let's copy the whole thing that is given in the calculator. Don't round off because you will now be making another error unless the question requires you to do that. 
give the exact figure. Let's look at errors in measurement. Uh, measurement here, we mean the ones that you can be given either from a ruler or from any instrument. The absolute error for measurements is given by the minimum measurement divided by 2. You will get the minimum measurement using the number of decimal places given. For example, if you have been given 8.5, the minimum measurement is 0 0.1. If you had been given 8.5, 0 0.5, that is two decimal places, the minimum measurement will also be two decimal places, 0 0.01. So in our example, 8.5 minimum measurement is 0 0.1. So the absolute error will be 0 0.1 divided by 2, that is 0 0.05. The relative error is given by the absolute error divided by the actual. That one happens everywhere, whether it is measurement or uh, uh, the, other, the, the other computations or operations. It will just be the same. So the formula for relative error is the same. Absolute error divided by actual. What will change is the absolute error. Uh, the formula for getting the absolute error. So back to our example, 0 0.05 divided by 8.5, you get 0 0.00588235529. And again, unless you have been asked to give your answer to specific significant figures or decimal places, just write whatever appears on the screen of the calculator. Then the percentage error is also the same no matter what you're looking at, measurement and computation. That is relative error times 100. So you get 0 0.58823529. Let's look at errors in operations. Uh, these are the formulas for getting the errors in operations. Whether you are adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing, these are the formulas. It doesn't matter what you're looking at. This is what you're going to use. Absolute error in all operations is given by the maximum value minus the minimum value divided by 2. Then the relative and the percentage error are the same, just like we had looked at in the previous slide for our, uh, measurements. And remember, these formulas hold regardless of which operation you are looking at. Let's start uh, by looking at addition. Find the error in adding 1.2 plus 2.3. I know this one you have no issue. So first of all, you get the minimum and the maximum. Sorry, I've written minimum, minimum. Should be minimum, maximum. Minimum on the left, maximum on the right after actual. So uh, the minimum for the measurement 1.2 will be 1.15. That is 1.2 minus the absolute error in that measurement. That is 0 0.05. Then uh, the maximum is 1.25. For 2.3, the maximum is 2.25. And the maximum is 2.35. It's good to arrange like this uh, for easier working. So the minimum sum will just be the, the two minimums, 1.15 plus 2.25. You get 3.4. Actual is 3.5. The maximum is 1.25 plus 2.35. So you get 3.6. So absolute error is maximum minus minimum divided by 2. You get 0 0.1. Then you work out the relative error and the percentage error. Using the formulas, just the normal way. Multiplication follows a similar way with uh, addition. So find the errors in multiplying 2.5 and 2.0. You just follow the same way as you can see here. Minimum, actual, maximum. Then you get the absolute error. Absolute error is maximum uh, product minus minimum product divided by 2. You get 0 0.225. Then relative error and percentage error. You just follow the same method. The same method. Uh, and remember. Write the figures the way they appear, regardless of uh, the, the, the numbers or how many numbers you have on the calculator. Just copy. Subtraction and division follows a similar way. Uh, 
Again, I've done a mistake here for, for writing the title. It should be minimum, actual, maximum. Minimum, actual, maximum. Not minimum, actual, minimum. Uh, bear with me on that. So find the error in subtraction of 3.4 and 2.3. That is 3.4 minus 2.3. Here, when you are getting the minimum, you cross the way I have shown here. You cross. That is 3.4. 3.5, which is the minimum of 3.4, minus 2.35, which is the maximum of 2.3. Then, mean maximum, when you are getting maximum, it is 3.45 minus 2.25. That is the maximum of 3.4 minus the minimum of 2.3. This one hold will hold even for division. Then the absolute error, relative error, percentage error, you get in a similar way, the way we have been using the formula. So here the only thing is to cross so that you get the minimum and the maximum. This example for division will follow a similar way. The key thing here is do not, do not round off again when you are writing the, the, the figures. When you are dividing, just write the figure the way it appears in the calculator. You notice under the maximum uh, uh, quotient, I have written 3.13793103454 without getting tired. Just copy what is there in the calculator. Even if you have been told to round off in a question in, uh, to certain significant figures or a uh, certain number of decimal places, do not round off when you are working out round off at the end when you have already gotten an answer in the long form now you round off so here you don't round off whether you have been told in the question or not when you're working out just uh, give out the exact figure so uh, when you look at the minimum quotient I have written 2.87096774419 the way it appears in the calculator just use exactly that and when you are getting the absolute error subtract the same thing. Don't round off. I have written uh, the the 2.87 first, and then 3.13793103454 second, intentionally divide by two. You can use either. So long as you ignore the sign, it will be negative. Ignore the sign. Then when you are doing the relative error, carry on the absolute error the way it was originally before rounding off. And then if you have been told to round off in the question round off at the final answer so that's how you will do errors uh, you will be required to do the work in kmf uh, and uh, i propose that this time we do all the questions that have appeared in kcse in this topic doesn't matter the year so you will tell me how many questions there are and then uh, we will do all of them uh, which we can subdivide them uh, with the number of days we have between now and Friday. Thank you very much. That is the topic approximation and errors. Have a nice day.